Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Vishanan and Boris Gelfand. This is Game 5 of World Chess Championship match that was played in Moscow in 2012. In this game, Vishanan had white pieces and he started with e4. In Game 1 and 3, he played d4. So we have e4 now and everybody thought that Boris would respond with his Russian defense or Petrov defense, Ruska Partia. Instead, after e4, Boris played c5. In the past, Boris did play Sicilian defense, Nidorf variation. But he had something different in this game. So he prepared a different opening for this match. Knight to f3, Knight to c6, d4, pawn takes pawn, Knight takes on d4, Knight to f6, attacking pawn on e4, Knight to c3, defending, and now d6 is the most popular move, and Boris played e5. This is known as Sveshnikov variation of Sicilian defense. Pawn is attacking Knight. With this move, Black created a hole on d5. Knight from d to b5, Knight would like to jump to d6. That's why black played d6, bishop to g5, pinning knight, a6, attacking knight, forcing knight to go back, knight to a3, b5, that is b4, forking knights, knight to d5, bishop to e7, bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, and c4. In this position, c3 is quite often played, so is g3, but Anand played c4. Instead of taking, Boris pushed the pawn attacking knight, gaining space on the queen side, castling g3, a5 protecting pawn, bishop to g2, and now bishop to g5. Okay, maybe black even wants to capture knight when it comes from c to e3. And Anand castled, bishop to e6. Now knight from c to e3 is played quite often. Anand played queen to d3. And now a big surprise. Boris captured knight on d5. And Anand was surprised. Statistics show that in the past this move has been played three times, and black lost every time. But by judging by the speed by which Boris made a move, this must be a move which he prepared and surely he found a way to improve black's game. Let's see how the game continued. Pawn takes bishop. Now knight to b8. Knight is either going to d7 or a6. a3. And in the other game, h4 was moved, that was played. Bishop was played to e7, and white continued with a3, and white won the game, but we are not going to go into it. In our game, instead of h4, Anand played a3. This is a novelty. Knight to a6, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on b4, Knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, and now h4. And now instead of bishop to e7, Boris played bishop to h6. Bishop to h3. That move is played to stop black from playing rook to c8. And also bishop may be coming to c6. Queen to b6. Bishop to d7, and now b3. Let's go back. In the interview, after the game, someone from the audience asked Boris why he didn't play queen to c5. And Boris was surprised. He didn't expect, um, he even didn't consider this move. And the man from the audience became popular instantly. All journalists started taking photos of him. 
Okay, so if queen to c5, we could have this continuation then. Queen to b5, and after queen to d4, rook takes rook, rook takes rook, queen to c6, attacking rook, attacking pawn, but after queen to a7, white would have to play neutral move, because he actually can't take that pawn on d6 because of rook to d8. Okay, anyway, uh, queen to c5 move is uh, not a big improvement for black. But it's not a bad move. Boris played b3. Bishop to c6 attacking rook. Rook to a2. Rook takes rook. Pawn takes rook. And Anand played queen to a3. Let's go back. In the interview after the game, someone from the audience asked Anand, why not b3? And looks like Anand didn't consider this move uh, very seriously. But uh, continuation would be after b3, rook to b8, attacking pawn. White can defend with bishop to a4, and then we would have this continuation. Rook to c8, rook to a1, check, rook takes rook, bishop takes, and now how should white continue? Only one move is good in this position. Can you find it? It is queen to c2, attacking pawn, bishop, and threatening checkmate. If pawn to a1 promoting to queen, then white would win like this. This is checkmate. So after queen to c2, black would have to play g5, making room for his king to escape. And now white has a choice. He can capture bishop, but then queen to d4, threatening pushing pawn, promoting it to another queen, but white is not lost. He's got perpetual check. And after king to h8, queen to f6, king to g8, check. That would be perpetual check. Okay. So after queen to c2 and g5, white can capture pawn, but it would be still equal. Black would capture on h4, and then pawn takes pawn, queen to d8, queen to b1, attacking bishop and preparing pushing pawn to b4, bishop to f4, b4, queen takes pawn, queen to d3, check. So this is just one variation to show you that it will be still a draw. Attacking pawn and bishop to a5, bishop and together with queen on d8, pawn can't advance, so this would be a draw. In the game, Anand played queen to a3, and Boris played rook to b8. Anand captured pawn, and draw was agreed. Possible continuation is queen takes on b2, queen takes queen, rook takes queen, and now rook to a1, threatening checkmate, but after g6, black is ok. White can continue with rook to a7, threatening to come to d7 and capture pawn. And black has active defense. Bishop to d2. There is no time to attack the pawn because of this move and black would be better. So then after bishop to d2, white would have to play something like this, exchanging rooks. And then both players have bishops and they are opposite color and that is a dead draw. That's why in this position draw was agreed. And uh, in the interview after the game, journalists and people asked Boris how difficult was this game and Boris said that this was the easiest game so far. Another day, another draw, but best is yet to come. Chess history is being made 
in Moscow. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.